In this example, we will see how a time final event is seeded slowest to fastest. We have 26 entry cards for swimmers in this event in an eight lane pool. To simplify, you sort the entry cards slowest to fastest with fastest swimmer on the top of the stack. So really you're going fastest to slowest. 26 swimmers divided by eight lanes is equal to three and one quarter which means that you need four heats for the seating. So you know that you'll need four rows. As per SW 3.1.2, we begin by making sure that lane one is on the right hand side of the pool when facing the pool at the start end. The table below is different from the clinic slides as I wanted you to visualize lane one on your right. As per the seating rules, you place your fastest swimmer in lane four in the fastest heat. So that would be in heat four, lane four. This would be uh, the same for a 10 lane pool as the numbering begins with lane zero. In a six lane pool, you would begin with lane three. You would then place your second fastest swimmer on the left of the faster swimmer. This would be lane five. You then go on to the right of the fastest swimmer and place your third fastest swimmer in lane three. And you would keep on alternating left and right until the heat is full. You then again begin in lane four by placing your ninth swimmer uh, and making sure that you're alternating left and right until it's full. The lane order would be four, five, three, six, two, seven, and eight. And you simply keep going until you are, uh, until you, you've placed all your cards. However, the seating in the last, the first two heats is incorrect. As per SW 3.1.1.6, when two or more heats in an event, uh, we have to make sure that there's a minimum of three swimmers that need to be seated in any one of their prelim heats. That would mean that uh, swimmer number 24 needs to move to heat one of our example to make up three swimmer. This leave, leaves lane eight empty in heat two. Following our seater rules, swimmer 24 needs to be placed in lane four, fastest of the three. So swimmer number 24 needs to go here. And then swimmer number 25 would then go into lane five on the left of swimmer 24 and swimmer number 26 would go in lane three on the right of swimmer number 24. This now completes uh, our seating and this is now the correct seating that we would have if we had 26 swimmers in an eight lane pool. So in the olden days, clerks used to have large tables in order to be able to do these, uh, this seating with entry cards. Now all the seating is done using high-tech swimming software. However, as a clerk, of course, you need to be able to understand how it works.